Good morning. Good morning, sleepy girl. Good morning. Oh, oh big stretch. Good morning. How'd you sleep, little man? You look so handsome today. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Go party. All right. First things first. Gotta open up the light. Woo! Look at that. So much better. We haven't been getting a lot of sunshine, so I brought out my grow light. A little extra light for my girl. This beautiful girl. Look at her. Thriving. Also thriving. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Mm, not thriving, but we'll work on you, okay? Welcome back. Welcome back. And here we have day, I've lost count now, of quarantine outfit. Cozy vibes. Good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Today's Sunday. I'm trying very hard not to work today. So I'm going to try to do some organizational things, keep myself busy. I feel like now's the time to take advantage of spring cleaning. So I kind of got a little bit of a head start, but I'm going to vlog some of it today. I know right now it might seem hard to realize that today really is a beautiful day to be alive. We're in a funky time and I'm not going to talk about it too much, okay? self-quarantining why not take a little extra time put a little extra lovings on the skin so i just cleansed and then steamed at the same time i'm still using my tula super calm gentle milk cleanser i love to use this in the morning going in with a little essence i feel like i should do an updated skincare routine i feel like it's been way too long now i'm going to apply some serum and then massage it in and steam at the same time it's so fun i feel so fancy This is so fun. This is the Tula Rose Glow and Get It Stick. It's a little stick. They just pop underneath your eyes. Pop on a little cream. You guys know my skin is so dry, so. So I always make sure I get as much hydration as I can. Honestly, my favorite hack I've ever learned is to put scrunchies around your wrist when you're washing your face so that when all the water runs down, you know, it starts dripping down on your elbows and then your toes and then the floor is soaking wet. This stops it all. Favorite trick ever. Still gonna put sunscreen on. We've been taking the dogs for a walk or two a day, so. Put it on, it also has a little bit of a tint and it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin, so. Why the heck am Bob not, is what I like to say. Oh, hey. Hi. Didn't see you there. This oh. is Stefan's 73 questions. Oh. Was wondering if you had some time today. Yep, I'm in quarantine. So, so what you up to? Plenty of time. Question one. Oh, question one. We're gonna make breakfast potatoes. So I'm chopping up some potatoes. How's quarantine been for you? It's been great. I've been working like a crazy head. But today, I'm resting because it's Sunday. All right. And third question, how do you cook your potatoes? Your questions kind of suck. <laughs> All right, first we scrub and we peel the potatoes. So this is the Trader Joe's fruit and vegetable wash formulated to remove waxes, pesticides, and chemicals. So I scrub it up, I peel, I scrub it up again, and now I'm chopping them up. Now we're gonna get the air fryer ready, okay? All right, I'm gonna spray some avocado oil into the air fryer pan. Nice, a little bit of paprika, a little pep pep, pop pop, pop pop, <laughs> little pep pep. A little pep pep. A little pep pep, a little pop pop. A little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic salt. Just do whatever spices you feel like it, you know? I'm feeling like a little garlic and onion. Pep pep. And pep pep. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh. Mm. Stunning. Do you smell that? We'll do 400 for 15 minutes and we'll just like keep stirring it in between, you know? Moving on to Eggaroos. I've been trying to find a dairy-free cheese that tastes good and I just, I haven't found it yet. Even the smell of the bag is just, it's not terrible. Please, for the love of all things holy, let me know your favorite dairy-free cheese in the comments below, okay? But I'm gonna add a little bit, just like a little bit of this to the eggs, melt it all together, mix the potatoes in, have ourselves a full egg and potato and cheesy scramble. Ooh, the aftertaste of this tastes like popcorn. Interesting. Ooh, 
we're making eggs and salsa and potatoes. It's the breakfast potato song. Are you gonna join in? Yeah. It's the breakfast potato, potato song. song. We're making eggs breakfast and potato, potato with salsa. Song. And avocado on the side, a and a prayer on the side, a avocado on the side, not our best, not our best. Breakfast potatoes, look at that, nice and crunchy, crunch, crunch. I don't know what we're doing. We're just gonna have a little fun because we're in self isolation, quarantine fun. So we did take out on Friday night, and they gave us a ton of salsa. So we're gonna just like use the rest of it. It's leftovers. Salsa on our breakfast potatoes. Ooh, look at that chunkiness. It's nice. Hi. Mm, that looks good. We've got a little bit of avocado. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. That's your favorite spot, huh? That's Indy's chair. And here's Navy right now. You so comfy, little burrito guy, huh? You comfy? So Steph and I decided to self-quarantine together. We're practicing our social distancing together. So it's been me, Steph, and the pups all week. Steph's entire office is required to work from home, so he's been working here for the week, which honestly, selfishly, um, I really enjoyed. <laughs> I don't think he enjoys it, but I've enjoyed it. Do you enjoy working from home? Um, it's not bad. For all of you that are out there on the front lines, working in hospitals, working in grocery stores, thank you, thank you so much for everything that you're doing. If you are able to stay home, please, please, please stay home so we can all get through this. I know that there's so many moms that are now doing homeschooling for their children. I mean, I just have nothing but love and respect for so many of you. So thank you so much for all that you guys are doing. I love you guys. You're my thoughts. We're going to get through this together. That's what's crazy is we're all in this together, you know? We're all in this together. Stefan went to the school that High School Musical was filmed at. Okay, East High. That's the high school he graduated from. The Dumb Nut has never watched High School Musical. Maybe that's what we do while you're, we're in quarantine. We watch every High School Musical. <laughs> so today... I I've decided that I'm gonna do a little bit of organization. I'm gonna wash the sheets, maybe wash my towels. This is the first time in my entire life I've been like caught up on laundry. I seriously think since I moved here, which was almost two years ago. Laundry is like the one thing I am so bad at, but I wanna get better at. So I'm feeling really caught up on laundry for the first time in forever. So I'm gonna wash the sheets, wash the towels, and then I'm gonna start organizing some of my workout clothes because it's just, it's a hot mess. I'm taking advantage of spring cleaning. Just trying to keep busy. Still doing my hair. Still doing some skincare. Put on a little makeup today on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, girl, go to my Instagram. Since we're all working out at home, I've been posting tons of workouts over there. So, and then I did a get ready with me on my story today. So, come on over. I just feel like it's crazy to think about how many people are affected by this. This is not just like a US thing, an Australia thing, a Canada thing. This is world wide we're all dealing with it so we're all in this together i'm not working out today sunday is always my rest day anyway so today i'm just i'm kicking it in my cozy gear i talked about this in my cabo vlog but stefan got me a nintendo switch for my birthday i'm thinking about playing the nintendo switch games later today if i finish all my organization forgot that feeling the sun in my face it's so well needed I also have this fiddle in my bedroom. This is my very first fiddle actually and I've been supplementing this with some artificial light as well da -da -da -da. I'll usually just add the grow lights when it's not sunny outside at all and you know during winter now that we're slowly moving into summer I'll hopefully not have to use them. Look how massive this leaf is. This is like the world's biggest leaf. I love it I don't work out. Okay, so here's what we're working with. I have two drawers that are dedicated to my Gymshark clothes. I have one of those three drawer Ikea dressers. So I just pulled the drawers out to show you guys. So I have one that is for sports bras, one for the leggings. I have some extra Gymshark leggings here, a few sports bras here. And this is getting a little bit out of hand. I can't decide what's the best way to organize them. I kind of want to see if I like things like paired together because I have like my line of vital seamless flex 
energy and then like randoms and i feel like it would be fun to pair the sports bra with the matching legging that could be fun then i think we'd run out of room you know so it's hard to say but these are driving me crazy because i feel like i have a lot of mixed match leggings and sports bras so i want to match everything together see what we're working with and try to organize this a little bit so that everything can fit into these two drawers since we're overflowing a little bit here I need it. yeah i need it it took some time and I did take a break because I watched one TikTok and then one TikTok turned into a hundred TikToks. So I decided to go ahead and organize the drawers again by colors instead of collections. So took some time, but the drawers are complete and they're beautiful. Let me show you. All right, here's a sports bra drawer. As you can see, we have a whole row of emptiness, room for growth. So it goes from blacks to burgundies to purples, reds to blues, whites to tans to greens, and one yellow at the end. And then here's the legging drawer, a whole empty little bit at the end and in the back. So this is it goes from blacks to burgundies. This one goes like this, okay? It's like a snake. That one, I did not have time for the snake. This one's a snake. So this one goes black, burgundy, purple, reds, coral, mauves, blues, grays, light grays to dark grays, and then greens to greens. Ooh, I should swap these two. Okay, I'm gonna swap these two one second. All right, much better. These little drawer dividers are my lifesaver, okay? And I picked these up from Target. I also get tons of questions on how I fold my leggings. So let me show you. For any of you who care, I don't know. <laughs> Here we have my favorite pair of leggings, the camo seamless. So you fold them in half, okay? Little halfsies, okay? Little halfsies. And then I pull the bottom of the leggings up to the bottom of the waistband. And then I'll pull a little section right here little section right here and then i'll fold them again and then if you have these ikea drawers they fit perfectly standing up like this but then they also look really good if you want to lay them like this but this will get you a whole nother row of extra leggings this will give you a whole less row of leggings so i guess it depends on how many leggings you got girl all right next thing to tackle this spice rack it's a disaster a few weeks ago i picked up some stuff from the container store to organize which included this little spice rack so all the spices will sit in it a little bit nicer and it won't look like such a hot little mess so here we go here we go also look how stinking cute my new kitchen decor is my mom made this for me she's like miss craft queen okay she's a little crafting queen and she made the cutest little sign it's a beautiful day to be alive yes it is okay The only one that didn't fit is this garlic salt, so I just popped it in the back. Fun, fun, fun. Like all my Trader Joe's numminess. Stevia leaf, salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder. I just put these together because they match. Basil, oregano, parsley. Chili powder, red chili pepper crushed. Delicious. Next. Oh, right now Stefan is putting together his little show and tell. This is the 36 pair overdoor shoe organizer from the container store. So I bought that as well. I bought that when I bought the spice rack. Spice this holder because I put all my shoes in a bucket when I moved here a year and a half ago and then that bucket's just sitting at the bottom of my closet so I figured if I get a shoe holder a 36 one you know that's a that's a lot of shoes do you think I got 36 shoes I don't know I don't know either I'm gonna hang it on the back of my closet door and then hopefully I'll start wearing some of the shoes that are sitting at the bottom of that bucket I'm just not really a shoe gal you know shoes are just not something I'm passionate about so I have like my three pairs of shoes that I wear all the time and I just stick to them so we're gonna hang them all up. Look at this little girl. My whole life I just wanted an animal that will cuddle me and Navy's not that kind of dog, okay? Miss Indy? She's that. Hi, Miss Indy. She's my best friend. All right, here's the shoe bucket and here's the shoe rack. I'm gonna put it on the inside of the closet. Okay, don't worry. But I figured I would show you hanging it up. It's been sitting here for so long, so I'm finally gonna go through all these shoes and figure out what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna donate. Spring cleaning, baby! Here's the finish. 
finished product. I got sneakers on the bottom. So these are my most worn sneakers that I wear to the gym every day. My black ones, some extra ones that I have, like Air Force Ones, older Vapor Maxes. And then up here, I put my favorite booties, you guys know. So I have my tan, my black, my white, some white heels, some black heels, my tan heels, and one fun pattern pair. And that's it. Look at that, easy. And we have room for growth. The only ones that wouldn't fit are Uggs that I have that I wear for when it's snowing because I do live in Utah and it does snow. Okay, so don't make fun of me. Some Ugg slippers, I need to toss these on here. My only pair of sandals that I own and then thigh high boots. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with these. All right. Kind of hard to tell, but I hung the thigh highs just on a pant hanger like that. All right. Having a little snack. If you've been here for a while, you probably remember. Hello, sweet angel, baby girl. We used to have this all the time and we kind of, I don't know, forgot about it. Maybe we overdid it got sick of it. So first you need two pieces of toast. Toast. Hummus. Trader Joe's smooth and creamy roasted red pepper hummus. Delicious. Smother your toast. Add a little bit of your favorite salt. We prefer pink Himalayan sea salt. A little sprinkle. A little bit of lemon juice. Delicious. Some cukes. A little cucumber action. Love some cukes. When I was little, I would get home from school and put a dollop of ranch on top of a cuke and then eat that for my snack after school. And finally, finish off with your California sun-dried tomatoes. I picked these up at uh, Trader Joe's as well. I haven't tr shopped at Trader Joe's in months, but then right before quarantine, I was like, whoa, let's go stock up on some Trader Joe's fun stuff. Delicious. Am I right? Nutritious and, oh wait. Yeah, you hmm. can't have that part. What? Cheese. Um, mm-hmm. We're missing cheese, that's what we forgot. Why'd you sit so far away from me? How's your reaction? This is our um, prep station. Nine out of 10. Get your foot off, dude. I think quarantine's gonna break us up. Would you agree that quarantine's gonna break us up? Mm -hmm. I'm through with you. I've been through with you for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still here? You don't let me leave. You're excused from quarantine, all right? You can leave. But once you walk out that door, you're not coming back. I try to leave and you say, you're not leaving anywhere. Because <laughs> if you leave, you're not coming back in. But then when I say I'm going to leave for sure, she goes, well, you're coming back for sure then. <laughs> so your stories just don't add up. <laughs> you don't know me. You sure that? That was ice. Best snack. Best snack. Best snack. Sad news. I can't stay in my room all day. I'm devastated. I know. I'm sure you are too, all right? But we're going to take the pups on the I swear my life Navy can hear. I mean, can spell and hear. <laughs> so I whisper right now. So we're gonna go on a quick W A L K, get a little bit of fresh air. Oh, perfect. I already caught my poop bags in here. Lovely. We just had a 2.8 earthquake, nothing crazy. The other day we had a, what was it the other day? A 5.7? A 5.7 earthquake. And that, that shot me awake. That was the scariest moment of my whole life. I swear my life. That's kind of dramatic. But at 7 a.m., when an earthquake hits, it's freaking terrifying, I'll be honest, okay? All right. Let's hit it. One blocker, two blocker? One blocker. One blocker. We're running against daylight, 7.30 at night, so we gotta hustle. Are you ready? Are you ready for a W-A-L-K? Yeah. Whoa. She's ready. Do you want to go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? We're not joking. Yeah, Indy does. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Should we do it? I'm not getting... For a walk! A W A L K. Mom and Dad, they never leave. And we're going on a W A L K. BFFs. <laughs> Maybe. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> oh, <laughs> getting some fresh air. We might run to the stop sign. No, do not run to the stop sign. Run back. I can't, bro. I'm so we'll freaking sore. No, we'll don't do it. All right, dude. We'll be back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yesterday I filmed day one, week one of a live inside, which the whole workout should already be up. So it would be my last video. And I am so sore today. I'm not okay. I don't think I'm okay. Okay. My glutes hurt. My quads hurt. These workouts are very high intensity. And it was only like a 23 minute workout. 18 minute? It wasn't even long. And I'm toasted and roasted. They made it to the stop sign, but I'm not running, okay? I worked out yesterday. Sunday is a day of rest, okay? 
Wow, good job. Maybe he's pooped. Oh, you so tired, Nibiru? Come on, Miss Indy, let's finish our walk -a Indy girl, good job. Yeah, good job. You're my speed demon. All right, getting dinner ready for the kiddos. Miss Indy, do you want dinner? Come on, let's have dinner. That's a good girl. All right, good. Two sits. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Yes, good job, little girl. Good job, little man. It's the same food, Navy. You don't have to check every time. It's the exact same. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up today's day in a life of quarantine. We just made some cookies, ate those, had a little dinner, and that's it. Oh, man. Oh, we got to put the sheets back on the bed. See, this is the worst part about freaking washing your sheets. <sighs> I love you guys so much. Please stay home. Please stay safe. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. We're going to get through this, okay? I love you. Let me know what video you want to see next. I'm thinking another follow along video. I think that would be fun. A little follow along workout. I love you so much. And until next time, we'll see you next time. Missing, you wanna say goodbye? You are a main character. Oh, okay. We love you so much. We love you. Yep. Love you so much. We'll see you next time. Huh? Yeah. <laughs>